Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Ellie Morgan. Where's Joe? He's chasing his shadow. Again. Again. Look, we here at SourceFed love space stories. We know that we acknowledge it. What we don't love is how-to tutorials. Until, of course, we found an article from space.com that combined the two beautifully. It's a meteorite story, and not just a story, it's an instructional how-to. How to find a meteorite in five steps. That's right, this is SourceFed's how to find a meteorite edition. Moving right into it, step one. You gotta make sure that you're in the right area. Okay, space rocks found in like a national park are the parks. Sure, there's ambiguous laws regarding who owns a meteorite if found on one of the 264 million acres of public land in the American West, but if you want a meteorite that doesn't have a chance of being taken away from you by the man, you gotta search on private land. Or you can just put it in your pocket. We're not saying space.com said this. If you find a meteorite, just just take it. Just take it. Step two, location, location, location. Pick the right spot. There's a lot of rocks in the world. Things can get confusing real fast. Your best hunting grounds are barren areas where those blackish and dark meteorites can be easily seen. Deserts are good, like the Mojave, or icy regions, like Antarctica. Next time you're in Antarctica, start searching for some meteorites. Also, dry lake beds and the Great Plains are riddled with them, so book your flights, people. Step three, don't be picky. Sure, we all want a long lost meteorite, but there's nothing wrong with getting a fresh one. With a new meteorite, there's fresh information about the structure and composition of a distant region of the solar system. And step four, be safe. You have no idea how many casualties we've lost in meteorite hunting. Bob Verish, a meteorite hunting expert, recommends packing a lot of water, snake guards, and sunglasses. And for the love of God, don't do it alone. He also recommends taking two cars in case one of them breaks down, and then you're really screwed. And of course, and I think this goes without saying, don't forget to pack your metal detector. Most meteorites contain some sort of metal ingredient and therefore will be picked up by your metal detector. And of course, last but not least, step five, share. Ask yourself these questions. Is the rock black or brown? Is it solid without pores and dense? compared to most of the other rocks in the area. If a corner of the sample is ground slightly, is the interior metallic silver? Is the sample magnetic? Because if you answered yes to all those questions, you probably have a 4.5 billion year old piece of the cosmos, and you need to share that. Every different meteorite is a new data point and could answer questions about our solar system and its beginnings. So there you have it, SourceFed's How To. Find a meteorite edition. So are you excited about this new meteorite exploring information, and what other how-tos do you want us to cover? Leave us a comment down below. Click the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and you can always feel free to click this here annotation bar or go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories or anything else we have ever done. Also, just as a reminder, there is a link in the description in case you want to hop on over to Four Human Peoples and maybe pick up a poster with our faces on. It's entirely up to you. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. Joe, we're going to find a meteorite.